Let's get back to the big breaking news we brought you in the last hour. State of Alabama has executed its first prisoner with nitrogen gas. Kenneth Smith was put to death at 8.25 p.m. local time there for the 1988 death of Elizabeth Sennett. This execution marks the first time in the U.S. that the controversial method of nitrogen hypoxia was used. Josh Gaunt from our Fox affiliate in Birmingham, WBRC. He is joining us live now down there from Alabama with more on this execution. Josh. Yeah, good evening. As you mentioned about an hour ago, uh, Kenneth Smith was pronounced dead by the state of Alabama, as we mentioned, by uh, using nitrogen hypoxia, the first death row inmate here in the country uh, to be executed using this method. According to Corrections Commissioner John Hamm, who spoke to the media just a short time ago, he said there wasn't anything out of the ordinary uh, that happened here, and he says it took place in his estimation, this execution took place in his estimation according to plan, but he did say that Smith appeared to be holding his breath at the beginning uh, when they started this execution. According to the five media witnesses uh, who saw this, they say it appeared Kenneth Smith was conscious for several minutes uh, into this execution. They say he shook and writhed on the gurney, then eventually took several deep breaths before his uh, breathing started to slow down. As we mentioned, he was pronounced dead a short time later by the state of Alabama at 8.25 central time here in Atmore at Holman Correctional Facility. Attorney General for the state of Alabama Steve Marshall says this execution proved to be an effective and humane method of execution. Shortly after the Corrections Commissioner spoke uh, to members of the media, we heard from Elizabeth Sennett's family. She was the pastor's wife that was killed back in the late 80s up in North Alabama in a murder for hire plot. Her pastor uh, husband at the time ordered this uh, hit if you will kenneth smith and another man were caught up in this according to alabama law um, they are sort of just just as guilty as being caught you know as they were caught up in, in this whole situation so that's why he is on death row according to elizabeth senate's son mike she said uh, he says that this is a bittersweet day for their family he says that evil deeds have consequences and they say that justice has been served for their mother. Once again, Kenneth Smith, the first death row inmate in the country executed by nitrogen hypoxia by the state of Alabama here at Holman Correctional that happened around 825 Central Time here in Alabama. We'll send it back to you. Josh, I do have to ask, were you part of the media witnesses that saw this entire execution go down? And can you describe what that was like? It must be very difficult to watch someone be put to death right before your eyes. Yeah, I, I wasn't a part of the, the media witness team this go around. I have witnessed two lethal uh, injections. And, and yes, it is uh, um, uh, uh, trying to put into words here what that feeling is like. But you were watching uh, the state put someone uh, to death. Now, we haven't spoke to those media witnesses other than they did give a pool report uh, after uh, the corrections commissioner spoke and they sort of described, you know, what they saw. There are some interesting things uh, I took from that pool report when they said that, you know, he shook and writhed on the gurney. Then he uh, eventually took several deep breaths. Um, but according to the corrections commissioner, those were involuntary. So um, in other words, those were expected, according to the corrections commissioner. I did ask him because the execution protocol here in Alabama is so secretive. It, it looks like a CIA document. It is so redacted. Legal experts say it's redacted in some of the most important places. But it, it talks about how this process uh, is supposed to go. Uh, the state initially said that it could, you know, he would fall unconscious within seconds and then dead within minutes. But in this particular case, according to the media uh, witnesses here, that initial step took several minutes. So there are still, you know, questions here. There are a lot of questions going into this execution. There are a lot of questions going out. But as I mentioned, I did ask Corrections Commissioner John Hamm about, you know, how did they prepare for this execution? How did they test this nitrogen hypoxia uh, method? And he did not answer that question. Of course, we will uh, continue to push for answers uh, as it uh, relates to this method of execution, which more inmates could choose to use here in the future.
Josh, just kind of piggybacking off of this last answer that you gave, uh, can you provide some context to our viewers as to how we got to this point? This is the first inmate, as you've been mentioning, that was executed by nitrogen gas, and this is after that failed execution already happened once before. Yeah, that's right. You know, it's important to note here that he actually requested nitrogen hypoxia at the time that uh, shortly after uh, he received the death sentence. So he, he requested this, but as you mentioned, there was a failed execution back in 2022. I was here for that, and it took uh, ADOC uh, several hours to be able to, to, to do this. They say they ran out of time. At that point, the death warrant expired at midnight. Now the execution protocols say that uh, this, these executions go until 6 a.m. So they were working up against the clock back then. They were able to set one IV line, but they cannot set a second IV line during his first initial execution attempt. That was called off. Of course, that was uh, two or three uh, failed executions at that point. The state of Alabama then did an eternal review of the process. A lot of people say that that review should have been independent, but it was a state review of execution procedures. And then essentially they brought in a team to do the next two executions and there were not any issues according to the corrections commissioner and then shortly after that is when they set uh, the uh, the death uh, ex execution date for Kenneth Smith and then tonight uh, we're here now where the state of Alabama uh, finally carrying out uh, this nitrogen hypoxia execution according to the state it appears everything in their estimation uh, went according to plan. Josh, we aired the press conference that featured some statements from the victim's family as well as from officials with the Department of Corrections. But did you get to hear anything from Kenneth's family? What are they saying about this whole ordeal? Yeah, we didn't hear anything, uh, anything from them. Uh, they were here to witness this execution, but uh, we only heard from Elizabeth Senate's uh, family after the corrections commissioner spoke. And as I said earlier, they said it's a bittersweet day for them. They've been waiting 35 years uh, for justice, saying that evil deeds have consequences and that justice has been served for their mother. But as it relates to Kenneth Smith, we haven't heard anything yet uh, from his family. We understand his uh, spiritual advisor and some uh, other folks are holding a, a press conference uh, either right now or in the next few minutes. And so we may get to hear from uh, some of them there, but so far, nothing from Kenneth Smith's family. All right. And we'll be looking toward that here at Live Now from Fox. Josh, just finally, this entire case has garnered national attention because of the method of execution. Have you ever covered something like this? Uh, no, to be honest, I have it. Um, you know, as I mentioned earlier, there were a lot of questions going into this. There are still a lot of questions going out of this. Uh, some of Kenneth Smith's attorneys um, and um, some of his, uh, his other team said, you know, this method was untested, it's unproven, and they felt like it could amount to cruel and unusual punishment. And they were hoping that the state of Alabama, hoping the U.S. Supreme Court would give them a reprieve here, but that did not happen. Um, the Supreme Court denied two stays of execution here. Earlier today, the court denied one. From a previous case, a federal judge judge said that this execution can proceed. So then Kenneth Smith and his legal team appealed that to the 11th Circuit. The 11th Circuit said that this execution can proceed. So then again, a, a last ditch effort here, an 11th hour effort by Kenneth Smith and his team. They appealed it to the U.S. Supreme Court. But uh, later on, a little earlier this evening, right before seven o'clock is when we got word that the Supreme Court denied that stay of execution. Josh Gaunt down there with our Fox affiliate in Birmingham, Alabama, WBRC. We appreciate your time and giving us context on this big national breaking news story. We'll talk again. Okay, thank you. In the meantime, I do want to play, not play out, excuse me, just showcase the final words from Kenneth Smith after that, during that execution, rather. Uh, take a look at this because we do have it here in a posted statement, he said this, tonight, Alabama caused humanity to take a step backward. I'm leaving with love, peace, and light. Thank you for supporting me. I love you. And that is, again, from Kenneth Eugene Smith.
his final words.